Where are we? That's okay. Sir, uh, given everything we've seen that Monty can do, what are the chances you guys are going to be able to talk Microsoft into doing a freelancer game? A freelancer game? That's interesting. You're hired. Yes! <laughs> I think we'd probably need to get good at making a game to do that. <laughs> Let's just jump right into Halo. What the hell? I mean, Sir, we're not good at playing games, let alone making them. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. Maybe you can come up with a good pitch for us. Uh, essentially the same question, but since we have Jeff from Trocadero here, I was wondering, I love Trocadero and I love Rock Band. Any, any chance that the two could cross over at some time? There's a chance for everything all the time. <laughs> Very clever. That's deep. Yeah. That's really deep. These two Fuck guys yeah. should talk. <laughs> they can be our agents. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was wondering, have there ever been any other games you guys have thought about doing Machinima for? Or you're pretty much rock solid stuck with Halo? Uh, well, we've done Machinima in other games before. Um, Fear, Sims 2. Fear, Sims 2. Um, um, Commander. Uh, Shadow, Shadowrun. So yes, tons. <laughs> Have there ever been any no, follow-up? Uh, have there? Have you ever wanted to do some, but you couldn't because you're doing Halo things? Uh, well, no. I mean, just I mean, Red vs. Blue is always so much more popular than the other Machinima things that we did. Mm -hmm. um, that it just made sense to keep doing, it, and we liked it a lot. You know, it was, it was definitely you know in, in our vein of humor. Um, so no, I mean, it's not like it, there's not like anything that we've wanted to do that we haven't. We're you know, if there's machinima stuff we want to do, we'd pretty much do it, I think. But. Yeah, and to be totally honest, a lot of games don't lend themselves to machinima. I mean, it, Halo is kind of like a perfect storm of tools that allow you, tools like Halo 1 bugs, that allow you to make machinima and make it so well. And uh, there's just not a lot of games out there that have it. And then, unfortunately, those that do, a lot of times, are also FPSs and... The idea of making a short in another sci-fi FPS, I mean, we don't want to make a Red vs. Blue clone. We'd like to save our best jokes, which aren't very good, for Red vs. Blue, I think. Take it easy. I'm hey, easy. Check this out, Bernie. Yeah. Oh. Oh, What the f*** gonna blow? Are we over? <laughs> we're over? Yeah, we're over. So you can do another question or two? Maybe? All right, another ten questions. <laughs> over there. Right. Well, they both have caboose hoodies on, too. It's oh, awesome. shit. I got... I got the caboose shirt too, so, so you, got, you have I went. So do I. suit then, essentially. <laughs> exactly. So when you guys first started out, did you guys have a tentative schedule or script for your for your everything? You mean for red versus blue? That you mean too. Like a life guide. <laughs> life guide. So, so your, your question is, did all. we have a, a big, long script for Red vs. Blue? Exactly. Uh, well, I mean, the characters evolve a, a little bit over time, but yeah, we had uh, some of the major stuff in place, I'd say, by the end of Season 1. Uh, we had an idea for what we wanted to be, but when we started, uh, it was originally going to be a six-episode, just little short, little mini web series that ended with the red guy getting pink armor, and that's how it was going to end. Um, right, light is red, thank you. <laughs> But it just, it went, you know, Jeff, I mean, it, uh, right away, what was it, episode two that we knew that we couldn't stop making this thing anymore? We, we were addicted. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, it was... Six episodes turned into 150 episodes. Also, yeah. All, yeah. Yeah. You clap now, but if you could have seen those original six episodes, <laughs> they had 150 episodes worth of content in them. They were, it was awesome. Also, the, the biggest misconception about anything that that people see, especially movies, is that they're planned from the beginning. How many of you know that in Wally there were never supposed to be humans, that there were supposed to be like gelatinous aliens, and then they just decided, figured out throughout the process that it, they had to have humans in the movie, and then it just changed the tone of the whole movie. It's like when stuff evolves, it's either through necessity or because it, ha you know, because it has to. Yeah. Mario. <laughs> what? <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. All right, is there a last question? Cool. No so, pressure. Uh, like that awesome guy over there, I also have the caboose shirt on. Like a style. You guys should uh, hug it out. Got two questions. Uh, the first one, how many videos on average do you get for fails of the week submissions? Uh, I think we're at 30,000 now. Yeah. Clips. So we've done 24 or 25 fails 25 week. 25 went up on Friday. And There's we've 10 clips per episode. There's 250 clips we put online. And we legitimately have, I would say, around 30,000 submissions. 
And I'm actually, I'm getting, I'm getting the problem now where I'm going through older submissions that aren't up in their file share anymore. People took them off. I think I'm October 16th right of now. Of last year. Yeah. Of last year is where I am in the submission queue. So. So be, the, be patient, we'll get to your clip in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, second question I have, do you guys want some Costa Rican beer? I happen to have some in my bag for you if you want it. No. Listen, the last time somebody are brought you a beer. Plant? <laughs> are you a narc? You have to tell me if you're a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brown, man. Let's meet at a, legally, at a legal designated place <laughs> and enjoy a frosty beverage together. Sounds good. Well, we want to thank you all for coming. Before we do, can we get house lights again real quick? Um, there's something I'd, I'd like to do is that there's somebody who's not here with us today who couldn't come because he had to stay back and work on these videos like day and night, polishing them up and getting them ready to show today. It's Brandon, the guy that we know. So could I get all of you on the count of three to say thanks, Brandon? OK, ready? One, two. Thanks, Brandon! You suck! <laughs> I knew I should have hit stop faster than that. That guy had his eyes closed again, actually. Oh, yeah. damn it. <laughs> that guy. Thank you all very much for coming out again and helping to make PAX feel like our home field again. Hey, Thank I want to... Thank you. Thank you. I want to give you. these to you guys. So you come guys. get them. Thanks. We love you. Thanks, guys.